am Anil Kumar sharing with you another excellent question based on higher order derivatives. This time we have taken combination of natural log and trigonometric function. I hope you will enjoy this video and understand some strategies. You can join my classes by sending an email on the address given and enjoy the journey of success. Let us explore and understand the solution. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss an example with higher derivatives. As a request from one of our subscribers, here is a question based on natural logarithms. We are given the function y equals to ln 1 plus sin x. We need to show that the second derivative of the given function, which is y equals to ln natural log, that is log to the base e or 1 plus sin x is minus e to the power of minus y. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. So, let us see how do we find the derivative of the function and then its second derivative. So, we are given y equals to ln 1 plus sin x. Taking derivatives on both sides, we get dy dx equals to the derivative d dx of the function ln 1 plus sin x. Now, derivative of ln x is 1 over x times the derivative of the inside function, right? So, we will apply the chain rule. So, that gives us 1 over 1 plus sin x times the derivative of inside function, which is cosine x. So, we have the derivative. Now, we need to find the second derivative of this function. So, we can differentiate using the quotient rule, right? So, we can now apply the quotient rule. Clear? So, we get d2y dx square equals to the denominator square, which is 1 plus sin x whole square, Derivative of cos x is sin x with a minus sign times the denominator, which is 1 plus sin x minus cos x times derivative of 1 plus sin x. So we get cos x times cos x, which is derivative of sin x. Perfect. So we can now open the bracket and simplify, I can take minus outside, so let me write minus here. Then we have sin x plus sin square x plus cos square x over 1 plus sin x whole square. Since we took minus outside, all the terms here become positive. Do you see that? All these terms become positive. And we know what is uh, sine squared x plus cos squared x. It is 1, right? And therefore, we can write this as sine x plus 1 over 1 plus sine x whole square. So, so, we can cancel and simplify this and write this as 1 over 1 plus sine x with a negative sign as shown here. So, we do get the derivative as uh, 
cos x over 1 plus sin x and the second derivative is minus 1 over 1 plus sin x. Now, how do we write this in the required form which is minus e to the power of minus y? Well, let us now explore the given function to us. So, so we are given that y equals to ln 1 plus sin x. If you write this in exponential form, it will become e to the power of y is equal to 1 plus sin x. So, clearly in d to y dx square, 1 plus sin x is in the denominator, right? We can substitute that by e to the power of y. And now we can write our expression as d to y dx square equals to minus 1 over e to the power of y. And that clearly is minus e to the power of minus y. You see that. So, that is how we can actually get the second derivative as required. Perfect. So, that is a very interesting question. I will like you to explore more. So, extend. find third and fourth derivative. So, that could be an extension. You can follow the same process. You can actually use now the equation which we have derived to find the higher order derivatives. Here is a neat solution to what we just did. I hope it makes sense. So, the idea here is that once you are given this natural log and you are wanting to write in terms of E, it is a good idea to rewrite the given equation. So, this equation can be written as E to the power of Y equals to 1 plus sin X. And now from here, you can actually derive the condition directly also. So, you can explore that possibility also. So, that is another very interesting way of doing it. I would like you to share with me the solutions in this regard and discuss. So, now, the objective here is to share and learn. Feel free to write to me on the email address given. If you have more ideas, we can think about it and include in our comments and videos. Thanks for your time. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. All the best.